User Interface and User Experience Best Practices for Game Development User Interface If you plan on having icons, make sure your player actually understands what they mean. Icons are a good way to simplify your text, but the player may not have experience with whatever arbitrary representations you've chosen for your ideas, and won't understand their meaning. Reading text will always be faster than icon interpretation, at least on a first-time basis. Ideally, you should have icons beside text on shortcut menus, then allow the user to collapse the text at their discretion once they have a sufficient understanding of the interface. If nothing else, give the player tooltips so they don't have to guess their way through your game's interface. User Interface Less is more. Keep it simple. Too much information or too many inputs will confuse your player and put them off exploring your game any further. Apart from games that deal with heavy content and material, all other games' UIs should be simple for users to understand, without requiring them to wade through wiki pages and guides before they can begin playing. User Experience Have you ever noticed that most of the really popular action games are fast-paced? If you have bullet sponges as enemies, combat just doesn't feel good. Instead of having a few beefy enemies, have a lot of weaker enemies in the right areas. In addition, make sure weapons don't feel sluggish. Give them a higher rate of fire. When your player is killing tons of enemies in a small time frame, they'll feel as if they're accomplishing something great, even if the HP pool were the same as one or two big bads.